We begin with that breaking news, a deadly shooting at a Buffalo supermarket, and we're learning more about the moments leading up to today's violence. Investigators say the shooting happened in a predominantly black neighborhood just a few miles north of downtown Buffalo. CBS 2's Leah Mishkin is live in our newsroom with the very latest tonight. Leah? Jessica, Buffalo's police commissioner says the 18-year-old suspect traveled hours to commit this crime. The FBI says it's investigating this as a racially motivated hate crime. Around 2.30 Saturday afternoon, Buffalo's police commissioner says a shooter wearing armored tactical gear arrived at the Topps Market on Jefferson Avenue. He had a camera that he was live streaming what he was doing. The individual exited his car and engaged four individuals. He shot four people in the parking lot. Three of those were deceased. The suspect police say made his way inside the store, shooting a total of 13 people. According to Buffalo police, the majority of the victims doing their Saturday grocery shopping. This is the worst nightmare that any community can face. The depth of pain uh, that families are feeling and that all of us are feeling right now cannot even be explained. Buffalo's police commissioner says 10 people died at the scene, including a security guard who was a retired Buffalo police officer being hailed a hero for his actions. Engaged the suspect, fired multiple shots, struck the suspect, but because he had heavily armed, uh, armored plating on, uh, that bullet had no round. The suspect engaged our retired officer and he was ultimately uh, shot and deceased at the scene. Governor Kathy Hochul arrived in Buffalo and said at a press conference this was an act of white supremacist terrorism and it has to stop. I know the individuals who live here, it's a wonderful tight-knit neighborhood, and to see that sense of security shattered by an individual, a white supremacist who has engaged in an act of terrorism and will be prosecuted as such in a cold-hearted, cruel, calculating way. It strikes us in our very hearts to know that there's such evil that lurks out there. And the suspect has been arraigned in Buffalo City Court for first-degree murder, according to the Erie County District Attorney's Office. We'll continue to bring you the very latest later on tonight. Jessica. Leah, thank you.